Hey there, this is JP, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do this breathing effect, like distortion thing, seen here. So what you're going to want to do first is basically find your source image. Um, I just like to use people, so type in person. Uh, you want to go to search tools and change the size to large, because you want a pretty high res picture for this. After that, you're going to drag the picture into Photoshop. And make sure that you uh, unlock the background layer by just double clicking it. After that, make a new layer. Uh, and take the fill bucket and fill it with black. Then you're going to take the opacity and turn it down to like 75. Uh, then just, so basically what we're going to be doing is making a displacement map, and the way that works is the darkest parts of the image are going to be the back going all the way to white, which is way in the front. So you want to color this accordingly. So for this one, I want the background to be black and the guy to be in front. So I'm going to take the quick selection tool and just select this guy. Uh, and deselect the background. You can use the brackets to make it bigger, smaller. So now once you got a rough selection of them, just take the fill bucket tool, change the opacity up here to 25%, and fill it with white. There we go. Alright, so now I'm looking at this and I'm trying to see where the next like highest place would be. So I'm thinking it would be the ears, like the hair over here, this ear, this part of the hair, and this part of the jacket. So I'm going to take the brush tool and just paint it in. Make sure that the opacity here is again at 25 or around there. Uh, there we go. And I'm going to paint in here this ear here and the jacket right here Actually, now that I think about it, since pretty much everything over here is going to be in the front, I'm going to just color like that, because the guy is kind of tilted, so I'm going to color his face too. Ah, oh, crud. Oops. There we go. I guess I'll just it's tilted kind of towards the camera, so right here. Okay, and it doesn't have to be exact, it's fine. Um, there we go. Now, the next part up will be this hair, this face, uh, the collar, and the tie. So, hair. Um, 
and you notice that the tie is behind it. We'll fix this in a second. All right. Now, the next highest spot would probably be the cheeks. The chin. The lips. The nose. forehead along with the collar again over here and then let's add one more for the tip of the nose now for the eyes they're kind of sunken in so what we're going to do is just change this to black color in the eyes same thing for the tie. Mm. Actually, the tie's fine. The tie's fine. Mm. Let's just add the There we go. All right. And that's a rough like little level map thing. Bring the opacity back to 100, and it'll look really weird. Then what you're going to want to do is go to Filter, Blur, and just do Gaussian Blur. Then change it so that it's not really sharp like that. It's more like diffuse, but don't make it so much that you can't see the individual levels. So somewhere around like here is probably good. OK, and then save this as just the PSD. After that, you're going to want to take that PSD into After Effects. So right there. Make sure that Merge Layer Styles into Footage is selected, and Retain Layer Sizes is also selected. Um, then just double click the composition that it makes to go into here and press this I button to hide the like black and white layer. Go over here and go to displacement map. Right there. Drag it onto layer 0. Change this to layer 1, that's the black and white layer. And make sure it's luminance because then it'll do the black and white. So if you see going to go like that. It's got a like pseudo 3D effect going on. So now what you're going to want to do is just um, set this to like the max you feel comfortable setting it so that it's not like all distorted and stuff. this one can go like a little bit I, I guess I use 15 and press the stopwatch button to make a keyframe um, probably don't want to change the layer time it's going to be 5 seconds So we want this one, control C, to be the same as the ending one so that way it has a perfect loop. Now for any of the like middle areas, you can do whatever you want basically, just change it so that way it kind of morphs.
and just make sure that it looks good. Because it's going to look really weird if you do this too much. Um, I recommend setting one of them to normal. So I'll do that second to last. So this one I'll set to zero and zero. And now it's going to look pretty strange that you see it loops perfectly. And if you see these black bars right there, like here, all you got to do is just shift click both of them, hit S, and scale it up. So that way no black bars are visible. Alright, now to add some effects. Um, I like to use Turbulent Displace, but first I gotta go to Layer, Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, rename this to Wobbly Labs, Turbulent Displace. That is way too much, so it's like 5. And you notice it doesn't really look like much, but if you spin this, it will look pretty all right. So basically you want to keyframe it here. Uh, press U to bring up the keyframes, copy this one, paste it here again to make sure that there's a perfect loop, and go to like the middle, and uh, I don't know, just play around with it. I don't usually like to set it too much, like maybe like five. Um, this number here just means how many complete revolutions it does. So let's take a look at that. See, that's that's too much there. So I'm gonna turn this one maybe to bulge. Nope, twist. play around with it, see which one looks best, and if it's too much, just reduce the size. See, that's not even noticeable. Oh, I see what it is. It's just uh, going a little bit too fast there. So let's change this to like two. And then we can put the size up again. There we go. Seems like it's going a lot faster with the beginning, so I'm going to do easy ease out. And do easy ease for this one. And easy ease in. There we go. Let's see how that looks.
happened to the one... Sorry guys, this is... It's like really difficult getting this to look good. Um, bring size down, amount to like 4. Or three. Let's see. Is it too subtle? I don't know. There we go. That, I think that'll look good. Yep. All right. And that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you have any requests, let me know. And sorry this one was so long and rambly. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much how you do the effect. So enjoy.